The best journey in life are those that answer questions you never thought to ask. The IGP compute path is often choose based on the shortest IGP path. These routes frequently though are accompanied with traffic engineering path. These traffic engineering design paths are employed purposefully or arbitrarily to satisfy particular network needs. These traffic plan paths are being made possible using RSVPT or SRT. Source routing using a specified set of metric and constraint is used for both the techniques. Hello friends, my name is Sabi and in today's video, I will give you a brief introduction to Flex algorithm and how it's used in segment routing. I use ISIS as a underlay routing protocol with MPLS segment routing in the lab to showcase this concept. Flex Algo provides a mechanism for IGP to compute constraint based path across a domain using extension to ISIS and OSPF to advertise TLV containing one or more Flex Algo definitions. Generally, the FAD associated with a numeric value or you can say an identifier, a set of metric and a constraint that should be used to calculate the best path along with constraint topology. When it used with SR MPLS, one or more prefix sets can be associated with the flex algo identifier. Thereby, by providing the level of traffic engineering without any associated control plane overhead or additional label stacking position. This is the biggest difference between SRT and flex algo. Flex algo actually enhances the routing protocol itself to create a forwarding entry based on algo definitions. FlexAlgo leverage all the SRT benefits such as TILFA, ODN, auto steering and coloring etc. So the classic SPF technology used for the shortest path calculation is referred to as ALGO0 in our case. In addition to ALGO0, we can additionally use new FlexAlgo as well. So we use FlexAlgo128 which will create a FlexAlgo nodes may or may not participate in the FlexAlgo allowing to create sub topologies to be created. By this FlexAlgo can create a network slice topology as well. So now we'll see that how FlexAlgo will work. We need to have a separate prefix set defined in the routers and each prefix set is relates to the algo. So the default algo, algo 0 which is default IGP to find the best path which is the IGP metric and by default every node participate in the default algo 0. So we need to configure that under ISIS with a label value that has been defined here is 14001 and the flex algo 128 which is defined with 17001. What we do with the flex algo, we create a flexible parallel algo in the routing protocol itself and associate another prefix set. In this case, we associated with 17001. You can assume just like assigning two loopbacks in the routing protocol. But in case of flex algo, we have one loopback associated with different prefix set. Here we assign that in system interface in Nokia, which is similar to a loopback in other vendors. Now once we configure the separate prefix set for algo 0 and flex algo 128, each node advertise its algo capability either algo 0 where every node is participating or additional algo that has been defined for the flex algo while advertising with using ISIS. So if you look at the output from while advertising by R1, it advertised the SR algo 128. It also advertised with the SRGB base starting from 12,000 and the range as 8,000 which is configured and along with that it advertised the SR capability such as SR algo 128. So once this has been advertised, these entries are installed in a FIB. So algo 0 which is the IGP metric. So if you see here uh, with the so router ISIS routes with the from R1 to R6. The prefix for R6 is 192.0.2.6.32. Algo 0 is also create a fib and that is going through via R11. And if I do the detail, you will see that SID is 2.0.0.6 and the prefix is 192.6. And 2.0.0.6 plus 12,000 is 14,006 that we configured and it is going via R11. Same thing when we check for ALGO 128 which calculates the minimum latency as a metric. So router ISIS routes IP prefix prefix length of 192.0.2.6.32 using the ALGO detail with 128. It will show that it is using the SAID 
which said that I configured for a Algo 128, which is 5006. So I configured as 17006. And the 17006 is being 12,000 sRGB base plus 5006 is 17,006. And uh, if you see the metric over here, the metric is different as 41054. This low latency path is now being traversing through R1, R11, R2, R4, R31 and R6. The Flex Algo definition is learned from a central entity such as PCE or via ISIS flooding. We'll see that how ISIS is advertising with respect to the ISIS capabilities in order to advertise the FAD TLV. We'll see that the new TLV Flex Algo definition which is FAD which tells all the devices in the Flex Algo as to what definition is the Flex Algo is. So with this Flex Algo TLV FAD, Flex Algo 128, what type of metric that is being using is delay. Calculation type 0 and the priority is 100 with the flag which is the prefix metric has been defined when sets to indicate that the flex algo prefix metric sub TLB must be advertised with the prefix. Now this is with respect to R1. So R11 which is also the part of flex algo has been advertising its own capabilities. So it also advertised the same using ISIS. So if you see that R1 is advertised, so similarly R11 is also advertised as capability based on SR algo which is 120 from R11 perspective. So every router which is a part of Flex algo will advertise this capability. So R1 as an ingress, R6 as an egress. So it will advertise the capabilities as well. So and each and every router that has been here which is a part of Flex Algo will advertise these capabilities and ISIS is responsible to carry these information and flood it. One thing we need to note that so any node that is participating in Flex Algo that should be consistent definition all across the topology. So whenever we advertise that so every router whether it is an ingress whether it is an egress router or a P router it should have the Flex Algo capabilities advertised but the Flex Algo should be consistent. So in R1 as an ingress router. So I configured that flex algo under the routing options with flex algo definition as 128 and the metric type here is delay as an ingress router. So it should have these definition enabled in an ingress as well as egress router. If I see that in R6, R6 also will have the same configuration that flex algo 128 and the metric type as delay. And these capabilities, if you go to the router ISIS, we need to have that enabled in router ISIS as well so that it will give us give that flexibility to flood the information across the topology. So R1 and R6 router ISIS we need to enable flex algorithm with participate and advertised. So in the P routers like R11, R12 so we only thing is we need to configure flex algo is participating. So no need to define the uh, metric as delay and all. So we just ingress and the egress we need to define the algo flex algo and with the metric type delay but in case of the p routers we do not need to define anything so far we learned about how flex algo need to be configured in the devices and how it works means how it advertised through isis so flex algo provides a mechanism for igp to compute the constraint based path across a domain using extension isis or ospf to advertise the tlv and containing one or more fads that is being defined in the ingress or egress. Every IGP node which configured with one additional prefix SID will associate with this Flex Algo 128. As a result, IGP continuously delivers two different ways to reach every node. A shortest path according to the IGP metric prefix SID with Algo 0 for the destination node. Here in this case, the tunnel ID 524303 and the SID that is being used for ALGO 0 is 14006, which is 12000 the sRGB plus 2006 as an index. Now, with the Flex ALGO 128, a shortest path according to the delay metric prefix SID based on ALGO 128 of the destination node will be created. Here, the tunnel associated with that is 524304 and the SID that is being used is 17006 which is 12000 as a sRGB block and uh, 5006 is the index that has been used here. So if you will see that in the router context of this based on this tunnel ID so 52430 is associated with flex algo 128 and tunnel ID 524303 is being used to associate with the 
flex algo zero which is default so in this if i go to uh, check the tunnel table for the destination dot 6 slash 32 to learn from protocol isis we will have two tunnels one tunnel is 52430 and the other one is 304 if you can check the tunnel metric one is 500 and the other tunnel metric is 41108 tunnel label that has been using 14006 which is 12000 plus 2006 here the tunnel metric for the flex algo been used as 17006 which is 12000 plus 5006 so flex algo is an intrinsic component of srt architecture it leverages the automated steering component to automatically steer services traffic into flex algo prefixed upon ODN automated instantiation of an interdomain SRT policy. So the SRPC leverage any per IGP domain flex algo prefixed that provided the required path. So in this case, uh, all the links have a static unidirectional delay value of 10 milliseconds been there and these static or the dynamic value delay values are advertised by the ISIS and flood across the link delay which is being advertised by ISIS in the database so it is there in the T app link attribute and you see that delay minimum 10,000 max 10,000 so this is what the 10 millisecond advertisement used by ISIS for this prefix which is uh, being used for algo 128 so now based on the two paths that are available for algo 0 and algo 128 is going via R1, R11, R2, R4 R31 and R6. So what I can do is I will inject a unidirectional delay between R2 and R4 and we'll see that so how the transition of the link will happen once the delay is injected between R2 and R4. So when I check the link using the test OM with the link measurement between R2 and R4 so it's already been delays injected and it is uh, advertising the 20 milliseconds of delay between unidirectional between R2 and R4 and the same was advertised by ISIS to the neighbor in the neighbor R2 R4 you will see that the delay minimum is what 20 milliseconds unidirectionally so once the delay has been injected and then the R1 will recompute the path based on the low latency path and the low latency path is now which is R1 R12 R3 R5, R32 and R6. Tunnels between to destination 2.6 and the tunnel next hop is being changed to R12 for the flex algo 128 and the uh, high bandwidth path is remain the same which is algo 0 which calculate based on the metric. So if I go to check based on the algo explicitly for algo 128 so the now path is system ID the host name is now which is next hop is R12 and the path switch over to R12, R6. Same thing when I checked based on the uh, uh, using Grafana to check the link statistics. So it will get switch over from R2, R4 to R3, R5. So what is the advantage of using Flex Algo? An important benefit of using Flex Algo solution is that no additional addresses need to be configured. The same prefix can be associated with multiple prefix set of multiple algo also when it used with SRMPLS one of the one or more prefix set which is associated with flex algo identifier thereby providing the level of traffic engineering without any associated control plane overhead or additional label stack in position is there in which flex algo will work. but the disadvantage of using flex algo the drawback of using flex algo of course it is that traffic engineering constraint are very limited to use links that belongs to this certain set of admin groups also there are no flexibility in sense all the traffic that satisfy that exact same set of traffic engineering so this is what we discuss about the flex algo so by default we'll have a flex algo zero and whenever we create a flex algo for example in this in our case we created flex algo 128 in which the metric type that we used is delay and uh, the delay is being advertised by ISIS TLV, FAT TLV, sub TLV and uh, also the flex algo capabilities should be consistent in all across all the routers and based on that ISIS will flood those information with the router capabilities as it participates in flex algo 128 and we need to have two prefix set to be configured one is for flex algo 0 and another is for flex algo 128 and that has been advertised using 
eyesight. Thank you for watching this video. Please share your feedback and questions in the comment box. I'll get back to you.